hi and welcome in this video we are going to discuss about chef for return of jedi question from august long challenge okay so the question is on an ice planet hoth chef has run into his arch nemesis darth forces darth has a peculiar fighting style he does not attack but simply defends and let his opponent tire himself out chef has a lightsaber which has an attack power of p so the attack power is p he keeps on hitting darth with the lightsaber every time he hits darth health decreases by the current power of p and afterwards p decreases by p by 2 floor of p by 2 fine so it is given that the current health of darth is h so for each hit h will become h equals to h minus p fine for each hit whatever the current value of p is the health will reduce by that much value okay so they are saying if the attack power becomes zero Uh, now they are saying that if the attack power becomes zero, if the power becomes zero, and health is still greater than zero, in that case Darth wins. Fine. If Darth health becomes less than or equal to zero, in this case Chef wins. Okay. If Darth wins, then we need to print zero, and if Chef wins, then we need to print one. Okay. That means uh, containing integer one. If Chef can beat Darth. and we need to print zero if darth can beat chef fine so it's a very straightforward question uh, we are given some value of p's find some p values okay now till while we can run a loop while p is greater than 0 okay we can easily subtract h equals to h minus p so each time each time what is happening whatever the current value of p is the health of darth is reduced by that much value okay and p value decreases by 2 each time simple so this is what happening in a loop now the loop continues in two cases if the health becomes zero if the health becomes zero before p becomes zero in that case we can say that chef wins so we can check here after this line after updating h if the health is less than or equal to zero then we can break the loop If the health is less than equal to zero, we can break the loop and we can say that chef one. We can print one. Okay. But if this loop is over and health is not zero, okay, health is not zero or less than zero. In that case, we will say that that one. So it's a very straightforward implementation. Fine. So here we will just use a flag variable to indicate who won. Flag equals to zero. So while p is greater than zero. we can simply say h equals to h minus p fine and we can check if health is less than or equal to 0 in this case we will make flag equal to 1 what is this means if if health is greater than equal to 0 okay if health is greater than equal to 0 that make flag equals to 1 and break the loop break the while loop and update afterwards p equals to p by 2 fine now if the loop breaks so if flag equals to 1 if flag Equal to equal to one. In that case, it means that the health became zero. Health became less than equal to zero. So we print one. If the flag remains zero, that means the loop exists because of this condition, not because of this break. If the loop exists because of this condition, that means the health never became zero. The health remained greater than zero. If the health remained greater than zero, that means that one. So we print zero. Okay. so this is the implementation of this question it's a very straight forward question for example the p is given to us let's say it is p yeah, h so h is given to us as 10 and p is given to us as 4 so flag equals to 0 initially uh, while p is greater than 0 so is 4 greater than 0 yes it is h equals to h minus 4 h minus p so 10 minus 4 h equals to 6 is h less than equal to 0 no it is not so this lines will not execute flag equals to 1 and break these lines will not execute fine and we will do p equals to p by 2 so this becomes 4 by 2 this becomes 2 now the loop again runs okay h becomes the new value of h will be h equals to 6 minus 2 which is nothing but 4 again h does not becomes 0 fine p is reduced to 1 to divide by 2 is 1 fine then h will become 3 4 minus 1 is 3 and now p will become 0 so h is 3 and p became 0 in this particular case this means the dot 1 chef does not win if the dot wins we need to print 0 so 0 is printed fine so let's see the implementation okay so see here 
that uh, we are taking t the test case as the input then we are taking p and h as the input that is nothing but our uh, the dot power the initial power of the dot and the initial power of the lightsaber fine in answer equals to 0 so if while p is greater than 0 h equals to h minus p if h is less than equal to 0 we make answer 1 and break okay else we simply continue the loop okay by dividing each time p equals to p by 2 and finally print the answer so if answer is 1 a 1 will be printed if answer is 0 0 will be printed okay so this is the implementation for chef force thank you